Now it's uh, Botox time, so she's gonna put it right here in the forehead and um, right here in the jaw and my chin. Ooh, I'm so nervous. Here is a list of what I did. I had a Botox on the forehead between eyebrows, chin, and the bite muscle. For the Botox lift, I did under the cheeks on the both sides and neck. And for the thread lift, I did under the cheeks on the both sides as well. Before getting Botox, the doctor marked where she'd injected. Now, I've never done Botox in my life until this moment, and I used to think you could only get one injection on the forehead or chin. Mm -hmm. A surprise, uh, the doctor placed a tiny unit between my eyebrows and on uh, top of my eyebrows and uh, on my chin. The doctor and nurse were so kind. Um, they even put on an ice pack uh, to make sure my skin or, uh, was nice and numb. And then uh, there is this cool gold metallic thing uh, that vibrates a bit. Uh, turns out when the rest of your body is uh, buzzing, the pain where you got injected isn't that bad. Right after doctor inject Botox, uh, the skin got little bumps, but they will disappear soon. It was very minimum bleeding and I was very comfortable. And surprisingly, this gold metal things worked very well on my body. And I feel a little poking feeling, but it never hurt like a flu shot. Okay, next, uh, I got a Botox on my biting muscle. Um, this one, it helps uh, by reducing teeth grinding. So I think I bite my teeth really hard when I'm sleeping or something. Um, and my face, it tends to get squared, I would say. Um, but this one helps your face like more round and slim. This uh, this is an inhalation anesthesia. I'm not sure of uh, this one of the medical term. Um, this is I'm prepping for the next treatment, um, Botox lift and thread lifting. As you keep breathing in this anesthesia, you will start feeling super drunk. Uh, you know that feeling uh, when you are super drunk and the next day you realize that you have a lot of bruises, meaning you hit something but you don't actually remember or don't feel it. This is exactly how I felt with this anesthesia experience. You'll notice a little bumps on my jaw and neck. That is where I got the Botox lift. And the don't small you know, things on my face, that's the thread lifting. But it's not um, the regular thread lifting. Yeah. There is a super tiny thread, and I've heard that this small thread lifting is less downtime and less swelling compared to the regular thread lift. So it will uh, affect um, two months later from now on. So it's a little bit bumpy. It's a little bit bleeding too. So now it's all bumpy. There is a lot of uh, thread underneath my skin. And this is the Botox lift. This is uh, right after all the um, procedure. So it's all done. So my skin is a little bumpy and then my neck too. So all the lift up, uh, you feel it's working. And uh, doctor said it's about uh, two months after from now. In the next video, I'll be sharing the new skincare items that I bought at this clinic, providing a downtime report filler procedure. And I think everybody curious about how much did it cost of all these procedure. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe for more content. If you have any recommend uh, skincare product or treatment, please leave it on the comment. I want to try. Uh, your support means the world to me. Catch you in the next one.